All right, got my ticket finally for the midnight showing of Prometheus. That'll be the next video. Wasn't cool enough to see it in an advanced screening, but like I said, finally got the ticket. But in the meantime, let's talk about Hey guys, Call of Three here. Got another movie for you, and it's one of the After Dark original films, and it's called Seconds Apart. It came out in 2011, and the premise of this movie is pretty cool. It's these two evil twins. And they're teenagers, they're almost like 18, but they're still in like a Catholic high school and they're these two creepy, evil twin teenagers and they have telepathic abilities. So it's a really awesome setup. The first 10 minutes of this movie should hook you. I really like the first 10 minutes of this movie, it was the best part of the movie. So as we get into the meat of the movie, what it is is these two twins, they're creepy as hell and what they're going around and they're killing their fellow high school students using their little telepathic abilities and what happens is your stereotypical average you know cop with a history you know he's like an alcoholic whatever blah you know add whatever backstory you want that's stereotypical he comes to investigate these kids killing these fellow students and that's the meat of your story so what I really liked about it was whoever made this movie can't think of the guy's name right now sorry but he definitely had some David Cronenberg influences it is obvious by this movie I mean you got the twin style of you know dead ringers you got the mental powers the creepiness in this movie what I liked is they didn't try to be funny they didn't try to be like a campy type horror movie they went straight for the kill serious straight up horror even though there's not a lot of blood and guts the kills are kinda interesting you know it's all in people's heads and these kids are like I said they're creepy that's one thing they got across effectively they're creepy and they ride beach cruisers which I thought was hilarious but okay and like I said the first 10 minutes are really good the rest of the movie kinda of falls about average I would say you know the script could they could have done a lot better with the script the twins that play in the movie they're pretty decent actors they have this sort of flat affect I think that's what they're actually going for in the movie so I don't blame them for that the cop is played by Orlando Jones you might know who he is um, but you know he's not the greatest actor and all around there's a few faces you'll see that are familiar but overall it's you know the acting's kind of B level which and it's a B movie so whatever and just they could have done more of the script the whole movie they talk about this project the kids are working on and you find out what the project is but I thought they could have worked more around that and you know definitely shown more kills at the end there's a pretty good reveal kinda saves the movie a little bit in my instance you know I thought then he was pretty cool you know something's up the whole movie and at the end they reveal it and but there's definitely some scanners David Cronenberg dead ringers overtones to this movie so if you like those movies you might like it of course I like scanners this is nowhere near as good as scanners but pretty decent um, you know killer twin movie and they have telepathy so decent three out of five stars my next video is going to be Prometheus, so stay tuned. I've been waiting for Prometheus for a long time. All right, guys, thanks.